I'm down here at the uh, Mississippi River Valley. I've got my girl Ulu on her uh, first hike after having her puppies in uh, Lobo. Beautiful day. Come along. I also have the lovely Tammy with me. Hi guys. Ulu, come on. Lulu's pretty happy to be out. She uh, hasn't been able to go for a while because she was pregnant and then uh, nursing puppies. And uh, we wanted to wait till uh, her breasts were fully dried up so she wasn't banging them and uh, scratching them against stuff running through the underbrush here. She's mostly just gotten walks around the neighborhood uh, for the last couple months. My buddy Lobo. This whole area has been underwater for uh, the whole spring and summer, so uh, I'm curious to see what it looks like now that the uh, river's gone down a bit. A lot of leaves are down. Yeah. We've had a lot of uh, storms and high winds over the last couple of weeks, so. There's leaves down everywhere at my house, all over the woods. Who loves the water? Oh, look at her. <laughs> a happy girl. We just have these two with us right now. We'll take Kurgan out with uh, one or both of the bulldogs later on this evening. She's happy to be able to go in the water. See, she looks pretty good for having a litter of uh, seven huge puppies. I was able to keep the weight on her pretty good. Raw food really helps with that. It's a lot more nutritious and highly digestible. And so they get a lot more from it than they would commercial food, which is overly processed. Who <laughs> lose an F1 Lichen Shepherd from the Lichen Project? <coughs> Excuse me, I inhaled the bug. Nice. She's an F1 uh, Lycan Shepherd from the Lycan Project. Her puppies are F2s in that process. The F in this context uh, represents uh, the generation they're from in the project. It's beautiful through here today. Again, we haven't been able to go to uh, this uh, section of the river because this whole part of the valley was underwater for uh, the spring and all the summer. This is all stinging nettle on either side of us right now. Fortunately, Tammy and I are pretty resistant to it, so we can get away with walking through it in shorts. A lot of people, it really ruins their day. <laughs> Plant has a lot of new uh, Nutritional uh, uses and also uh, medicinal ones. Supposedly one of the most nutritious plants on the planet. I don't know if that's true. That's uh, just what I've read. Man, just absolutely beautiful. You hear all the frogs singing? Man, look how high this is. Yeah, this is high. Lulu's always on the go. Oh, see that? 
Huh? No, that was a hawk. Looked like it had something, like it had caught something. I think it was eating it on that branch and flew away with it. Yeah, it's just beautiful through here. Again, this is the uh, wetland area off the Mississippi uh, River Valley here. Through this way, too. Huh? I think we'll get through better by this way. Yeah, we haven't been able to go through this section of the park all summer because it's been underwater. I really like this area, it's just beautiful. Again, yeah, there's a lot of uh, birds in this wetland area. It's so nice. It is, it's just beautiful. He can't help but a smile. Oh, look. See the turtles? I think those are turtles on the tree there. Right out there. I can't zoom in with my camera. Oh, sure. Pretty cool, huh? So one downside to this is the uh, camera. It shoots just absolutely beautiful footage, but you can't zoom. Yeah, that's what I thought. Man, how can you not smile? It is uh, absolutely beautiful. I agree. Nature is my church and the trees my cathedrals, huh? It's beautiful. The frog's my choir. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie? Yeah. Lobo. Nice. Ulu. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize she was there. Uh, hopefully we'll get a good thumbnail out of the jumping shed a little bit. That looked pretty good. Good boy, buddy. Just a beautiful day. What is it in the 80s, Tammy? Close. Close? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, almost. Yep. It's supposed to get up, I think, 82 or 85 today. Awesome. Yeah. Man, the nettle is so overgrown. Yeah. I got a little bit of a tingle on my arms. <laughs> Kissed by nettle. <laughs> yeah, my dogs eat this stuff like crazy. 
Yeah. It is. Again, I love this area. It is so pretty. Oh, look at the huge mass of trees that collected here when it was flooded, Tim. Again, this whole area we're walking on was under about uh, 20 feet of water or so just a bit ago. So you'll see huge sections of trees that washed in here when it was flooded and moved a lot of that dead wood where it accumulated. Either that or we've got some uh, massive uh, prehistoric beavers in the area. <laughs> Yeah. Let's not uh, let's not sit still. <laughs> if see any on my back, feel free to pimp slap me. Alright, we'll do. Uh within reason. <laughs> well that would. That's just beautiful. Hope you guys are enjoying it as much as we are. Yeah. Pretty soon all these leaves are gonna be changing and falling. Gotta enjoy the green while we can here. They look like little popcorn. Or little balls, like little malted balls. Here comes Lobo to block your shot. Somebody taking a picture? Let me get my head in there and get in the way. Okay. Amy's got an Instagram account. Takes a lot of pictures on these hikes and posts them. Hey, sweetie. I always link it at the bottom of the video description along with mine. Mine's full of a lot of nice pictures too, taken from screenshots from these hikes. If uh, you enjoy these videos, you'll probably enjoy both Instagram accounts. Check them out. That's that area. I don't know if you see my puppy videos when Wrecker was a puppy and he was running through that field of ice that uh, started to break. That was this area here. That was funny. He was such a cute puppy. Goes the uh, paddle boat dam. How's that for timing? This is the big uh, one of the big paddle boats that goes up and down the river. Yeah, here we get a good view of it. The Betsy Northrup, that one's called.
picture of us with the bits. Bitsy the Northrop in the background. Now that one's not a paddle bolt, that's just uh, being pushed by a barge. There are paddle boats so that go up and down the river also. So does it go like to the point? Yeah, no, that's, that's going to go down by the point and turn around probably. I don't know, it might, that one might go through the lock and jam oh. farther up, I'm not sure. I guess we'll find out in a little bit if it comes back. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. Having fun, Ulu? I guess that's a stupid question, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah, it is just nice. I love it through here. Ulu lifting her leg when she pees. Our Yorkie Buttons does that too. You uh, watch those recent uh, pupping leashing videos I put up with uh, Kuko and uh, Kbar. You'll notice even on my off-leash walks here with my dogs, I use some of the same vocalizations, the clicking and that. And again, I seed all that into them from a very young age uh, to associate that with something good and to respond to it by using that noise every time I feed them and do other things with them that they enjoy and so even now with my dogs when I click they automatically look and want to see what's going on and uh, this just shows you how that that still applies see now I clicked and then I pointed the they look at me and then I pointed the direction I wanted them to go I use it now with them when we're out and about to again signal them to look at me so they know that a command is coming. Well, this video's gotten on about uh, 19 minutes or so I think we're gonna break it off here start a clip too. like subscribe and share Hit that notification bell down below if you liked it a lot and uh, you'll get email notifications when our videos come out Bye from Miss Ulu <laughs>